the affordability and access of high-skilled uh, programs for students and the HOPE scholarship program, probably the most influential program we had during COVID and pandemic. The HOPE standard stands for High Skilled Occupationals for Professional Employment, or HOPE for short. The HOPE program was specifically intended for dislocated workers due to the pandemic. HOPE provided funding and support and short-term training programs that were identified as critical to the business needs of our community. Dislocated food service workers, for example, into healthcare jobs, as, it, as an example. This program not only provides the skill training, but the necessary support services to acquire and maintain a new career. Equipping students with skills in our community's resources serves as a foundation for career and family success. There's so much more that I could tell you about the college and the communities that we serve, but I believe it's more important that you hear from one of our graduates. Sherry is proof that Gateway lives up to its name as a gateway to hope and prosperity. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Albrecht. Uh, and lastly, Ms. Karian, you are now recognized for five minutes. Honorable Ranking Member uh, Mr. Steele, Style. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Take your time. All right. So, my name is Sherry Karian, and I have lived in Racine all of my life. And I've been in food service about 30 years. I graduated from Gateway 1987. And then the pandemic hit. Oh boy, did it hit hard. Um, and food service was one of the things that was hit the hardest. Everything was shutting down. And I thought, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Um, previous to that though, my father died in 2019, he was in a nursing home and not getting very good care. And so those two things were on my mind. Um, the loss of the food service, the loss of my father. So I put it out on Facebook and I thought, I need a new job. So I was thinking food service, but I wasn't for sure. And then um, someone says, well, how about being a caregiver? And I thought, being a caregiver, oh my goodness. I never did that before, but you know what? The pandemic taught me to step out of the box. So I stepped out of the box. I became a caregiver. And one, and it was part-time making $13 an hour. And um, my office manager sent out an email and said, Sherry, I think you could um, apply for this and qualify for this. It's a whole program. You could go to Gateway and um, get a certificate in uh, nurse, to be a nursing assistant. And I said, me? Go back to school? I graduated in 87 from Gateway. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to divorce Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and the school was online. Oh my goodness. So I said, well, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. I am gonna give this a try. If she thinks I can do it, then I'm gonna do it. Sure enough, I took the class online. It was shortened because of the pandemic. So I, I, took, a, I um, took the class online. Well, I applied for the grant. I was accepted. And then I thought, oh my goodness, how am I gonna do the clinicals? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take off work. I can't afford to do that. And I'm gonna have to pay for a uniform. Oh my gosh, where am I gonna get the money for that? Well, we showed up for class at Gateway and the HOPE program not only paid the tuition, but the HOPE program also paid us for taking the program. So I thought, oh my goodness, thank God. So I paid for my two days off, my um, uniform plus. So I was very grateful for that. I am grateful for that. Um, and I had a wonderful instructor, Sarah, and she, she was so helpful, so, so helpful. So there you have it. I graduated at 87 with associate degree. I just graduated last May with a nursing assistance uh, program. I am now working full time. I still have the same office manager, Amy Malott, and she still continues to inspire me and empower me. And so does Gateway and so does S.C. Johnson. And I am so grateful, so grateful. Because if it wasn't for them, I don't know what I would have done. 
I don't, I really don't know. And that's my story. Thank you. Thank you, you Ms. Karen. So we've got, we've, what, what we're going to do.